Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a three part series where I show you all the colouring books I've got in my collection that I actually haven't coloured in yet. And when I say three part section uh, video, I mean three parts because I have that many uncoloured colouring books. So we'll crack on. We're going to do, I've got th basically a three lots of shelves. Um, with, this is the first shelf. There's more than this, I've just got to get them. And then there's another shelf. And then there's the Colour in Heaven ones as well, which I've got so many of them, they're all just stacked up on their own. So let's get started. Let me move this lot out of the way. I'm not going to do flip throughs of these. If you want to see flip throughs, let me know in the comments below. Although do check out the flip through playlist because some of these will be on there. So the first one I've got is Halloween Colouring Book by Deborah Muller. Now, obviously I am hoping to colour in this one sometime this month because we're in October and I would like to get this one started. I've got to find somewhere to put them then. Then I have Zodiac Witches again. This is Deborah Muller. These are the first pile are Halloween and Christmas books. Uh, again, I love it. I just haven't got round to colouring it. So what I would say, I'm not going to show you all my PDF uncoloured books because there's far too many of those and they're all Ava Brown. <laughs> then I have the, another Deborah Muller book, which is Gothic Angels. Again, oops, there's like being not. I have got it in my Halloween pile because um, I'm hoping to do something in this this year. I do love it. Don't get me wrong. I think it's fab. Uh, I, I just, just being lazy, really. <laughs> I just buy too many books. Oh, that's three so far. Number four is Penelope's Garden by Dia Lenham. So again, this one's really, really cute and sometimes very detailed. She's a cute little witch. Again, I do want to colour in it. I don't want that one actually. But again, it's just me being terrible with how many I've got. I've got Witch Colouring Book. This is by Colouring Book Cafe. So, again, these are ones I've pulled out because they're Halloween kind of related. I like this book, but it doesn't grab me the way some books do. But there are some really great pictures. I like that picture for a start. So that's what I'll try and do this year, I think. Then I have Enchanted Forest. This is an Ava Brown one. I do like the Ava Brown ones and it's just a Enchanted Forest. So I like what I like about these ones is with Enchanted Forest, I would do everything really weird colors rather than green trees, brown trunks. I would probably do pink trees and purple trunks or yellow trunks or something like that. Make it really different. So that's what I like to do with those ones. Then I've got Witches a Colouring Book by Jana Prosperina. I can't pronounce her name properly, I do apologise. And again, I bought this one because I love her art, but I've just not got round to it. And these are, look at that, how gorgeous. That would not take long. Nor would that one. So these are ones that wouldn't take long. They're not grayscale, they are just... I've actually got one marked in here that I was going to do at some point. Which one was it? I don't know. I can't get into it now, it's all stuck. It's at the back somewhere. Oh, here we go. And it was this one, so you never know, I might do it this year. I've got a Dark Fantasy. This is a uh, Selena Fennec again. I love this, this sort of style and I love her work and I've not done anything and you usually get two of each. And as I say, I'm going to do every single one. I might do that one. And then the dub duplicate I would give to Jennifer when she's a bit older, though. That's all that, though. There's one more Halloween one here. Though there is a kind of in heaven Halloween one. And that's um, Relax with Art issue 72. We are now on 100 and something. So you know if this was last year or the year before. And again, I love the pictures. Just haven't done them. Some of them I like better than others, but yeah. 
Now we've got a few, oops, Christmas ones. Something fell off, oh it's a pen. I've got The Beauty of Horror by Al Alan Robert, The Ghosts of Christmas. So these are out hopefully to get something done this Christmas time. Just before I even buy any Christmas ones, I always buy Christmas ones. Let it snow. This wouldn't count for anything that's in the current heaven pile. They're the only ones that are separate. Uh, let it snow. Again, this is their holiday book. I usually love these books to colour in. They're so good. And we got another relax with art now. Oh, which is relax with art issue 87, which would have been a one that was mostly Christmas themed. And that little fairy on the tree. That's gorgeous. I love it. So yeah. Do I have too many colouring books? I think I do. I do you at all, but the room's an absolute state. Um, then I've got a Relax With Art Holiday Special, Christmas Scenes. This one was issue 42. So there are winter scenes and Christmassy stuff in here. Uh, if you can see, that's nice. Christmas party. That's a very 1980s Christmas party. I think I might have to colour that. I love it. Then I have got a Winter's Tale, uh, which is another holiday special from Relax With Art. Um, that was issue 47, so it's not just, well, it's mostly Christmas, but there should be other wintry things in it as well. I do like the Christmas stuff. Look at that. So easy to do, yet I haven't done it. That's nice. Yeah. The last of the Christmas books, apart from anything by Karen Heaven, is not really a Christmas book, but it's Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Other Festive Occasions by Hannah Lynn. I can't believe I haven't done one in here. I might try and start doing these as and when they come up in the new year, maybe. Maybe, but we'll see. Right, I'm gonna go and get another stack of books. Oh, I missed a couple of Halloween type um, books, so I'll just show you those quickly. I missed this one, which is a zombie colouring book. I have not coloured in the zombie colouring book. There's nothing in here to say who it was by, though I think on Amazon it was listed under Ava Brown, but I don't know. It's a zombie colouring book. I missed you, sorry. I'm just trying to get this straight. And... This Wicked Women Grayscale book. Now I bought this from someone. So there is stuff coloured in it, but I haven't done anything. And they're just grayscale photographs. Um, I might try and do one this year. There are some good ones in there. It's just, that, that's quite easy. It wouldn't take long to do. But, you know, anyway. On to the next pile. So I got Simply Relax. This is by Crelando, which is the um, company that Lidl's uses. And yes, it's double sided, but they're nice. You use your gel pens, use your water based pens, pencils. It's quite, yeah, it's quite thick paper, so it's not too bad. I think it'll be alright for pencils as well. There are a few of these. And then there is Dream Designs. Um, Again, double-sided, perforated. Yeah, the only thing with this is it's uh, very loosely bound, so they will come out like that. Now I'll either super glue that back in, or I'll t I'll take them out as I colour them and put them in a PDF, uh, in a folder like I do my PDFs. That's what I'm trying to say. Get it out, Andy. Get it out. Well, I think that's the only one that's actually done that. And they've got enchanted forests and magical nature. So obviously there's a unicorn on the cover. This one is doing the same though. I think what I'll do is as I colour them, I'll put them in a, a poly pocket in a folder. And my favourite kind of pattern, a mandala. Again, like I said, these uh, the paper's still very good quality. Not very detailed, but I would use gel pens um, on these mostly because that's how I rock and roll. Uh, right, the next one on the pile, it's got a bit skew whiffed, is April Amber Chibi Girls Funtime Park colouring book. Which again, I think there's two pages in each, so a set for me and a set for Jen. I think this is so cute. I want to colour it. I don't know why I haven't. Because I have too many colouring books. 
that's why. And then I have Max blah, 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 Matchstick Mouse, a summer colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. I've only got the Christmas one and this one at the moment. Oh, and um, Chompy Fluff Monsters Volume 1, which I love. But I do, it is very cute. They are so sweet. Am I getting colouring books for Christmas? I don't know. I'm not bothered about what I get for Christmas. I am nearly 50 and Christmas isn't that important to me anymore. In a sense for me, it is because of what Jennifer gets. I love seeing her face when she gets something. That's it, that's all I care about. So I will get something, either money or a few things. I know Paul's getting me some books to read because <laughs> I need them, not. 50 Swirly Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I love hers and I love this Swirly Mandala book. <gasps> Gel pen, hoy! I'll be sorting out my gel pen soon. And when I've tidied this room, I might give you a quick tour. But to be honest, there is a bookcase and a half colouring books <coughs> and a, a blanket box full of supplies and my desk, which you see every day, anyway. Uh, then we have a Tropicoth colouring book by Carla Magania. Again, I haven't coloured in it. I love it though. Beautiful book. I might. I'm going to pull this one out, do one this month, because it is Halloween and they are troppy goths. So, yeah, we'll put that one with the Halloween books for now. Then I've got the unofficial Stranger Things colouring book. These I got in Lidl's as well. I must admit, I have seen Stranger Things, but not all of it because I don't have Netflix anymore. So, I'm sure I will watch it again at some point. I'm loath to spend money on 10 or so different streaming services. I've got BritBox, which I'm thinking of cancelling. It's only 5 I've got Amazon Prime, which is fine because I buy things from Amazon. So I don't mind that. I had Netflix, but cancelled it. I don't have Disney Plus. And I just I can't, you can't afford it. Because on top of that, we have to pay for a TV licence. Colour the Tarot. This is another one I got in... Uh, in littles again double sized pages but to be fair some of them you could use markers on if you really wanted to but I think it'd be nice to do pencils in this book and these are like two pound or something like that I don't know something like that and then we got this one this again a littles one get out there and it's it's all right actually it's got a lot of words on it and lots of you know squirrely patterns like adventure awaits go find it wherever I am is where I need to be I'm ready for misadventure the journey is just as important as destination be brave bold and adventurous I, I like it it's a, like a motivational book really on the road again I don't like that that this one is play that not so bad when I'm looking at it on there and this one as well when I look at it on the screen ugh, ugh, plays havoc with my trivophobia trip a phobia go look it up if you want to but I would advise you don't I got gnomes in the neighborhood because I seen this and I thought oh well, it looks really good and I'm not a big gnomes person and it's single-sided pages and the paper's really good and I love it but I haven't colored it oh, I like that one that's really nice again I'm gonna have to pull this out and do something because they're not that difficult pictures they look quite fun, actually. It's just me. And then, oh, this one really should be in with the Halloween book, so I'll keep it out. And it's Mythagoria Night Terrors. It's a horror book, so I will put this in with the Halloween ones next. Again, paper's okay. It's not bad. Very detailed stuff. This one was by uh, Fabiano Atanasio, yeah. So it's totally different from her whimsy stuff that we usually see. You know, like the fairy tale books she did. They're quite creepy. But yeah, I'll put that in with my Halloween ones to have a look at as well. Got a I've got a few mythographics, not as many as I would like, but I have got Wanderlust. This is Alessandra Fusi. Again, they are so detailed and it frightens me. But I have seen some beautiful pictures coloured in these books. I do want to have a go. That's a nice one. 
So it's that one. I've got Enchanted Castles, which again is Fabiana Atanasio. It's this one. This one's got hidden objects in it, I believe. But I actually quite, you know. Yeah, I do. I like them. I just look at the pictures and I think, <laughs> I can't do that. That's those. I'm going to get some more. Yes, we haven't finished. Got another big stack here for us. I've got another mythographic. This is Frozen Fantasies. I think it was the first one I bought, but the detail frightens me. It shouldn't. I've been colouring for so long. I like that one though. I just, I do get a bit scared by the detail in these books because it's so good. And uh, the last mythographic I've got is Cosmic Spirit. This is Fabiana again. And again, this one I got because I like anything like this. This is my sort of bag. Anything spiritual and cosmic. And This one I don't think is quite as intimidating. Though some of them are, but not all of them. That's all of those. Then I've got Alan Robert, The Beauty of Horror, book six, famous monster pieces. I do love this. I do love this. But again, I haven't coloured it. I don't know why. Because I've got so many others and I've got so many pictures. I've got two Alan Roberts on the go anyway. Two of his books that I have to do. There we go. Then I've got Angelic Beauties Grayscale by Rachel Mintz, which is this one. And again, this is very, very fine. Almost, they almost look like photographs. I bought it because it looked really pretty and yeah, I don't know about it. I will, I will. I'm just not good on grayscale. Some grayscale I'm alright, but not all of it. And then we've got uh, Mermaids Around the World, Deborah Muller. Again, another Deborah Muller book I haven't coloured in. And I too love this, Around the World. And it's got the countries that they're from, which is even cooler. But I'm banned from buying colouring books. And then I've got Morgana Skies Witchcraft Colouring Book for Adults. I do like this one. I'm going to put this into my Halloween pile because it's witches and witchcraft so it gives me something else to have a look at. I like that because you've got the little pages as well. So pop that to one side. Uh, the classic movies colouring book. Let's see, I've got this from the works. Now I don't think a lot of these are classics but then that's just me. You know Citizen Kane yes. E.T. I would say yes. But some of them, maybe not so much. But yeah, I mean, it's a nice book and I will colour in it. I've also got the Beatles colouring book. Join the Fab Four on a Magical Mystery Colouring Tool, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it would be a fun book to have because Paul, Paul likes the Beatles. So I thought it would be quite fun to do. Maybe with Paul could do a few as well. I like the Beatles as well, don't get me wrong. Art Maker Mind Waves Calming Colouring. This came with a set of pens and everything which I gave to Jennifer. I just wanted the pictures. So it's then very zen doodly. But you know what? It's not the most detailed zen doodly stuff I've ever seen. I like that. So the uh, paper's all right. It's nothing special. There's that one. One of people's favourites is The Circle of Life. Guess what? I've never coloured in it! <laughs> but it is beautiful, but it's, again, it's one of those that's so detailed it frightens the life out of me. I just don't think I could do it justice. I probably could if I got a set of pencils and just sat and concentrated for a few hours. And I'm afraid of doing that. See, I love that crab. I think he's brilliant. It's a beautiful book, that gorgeous as well. 
Oh, that's nice. That's not too bad, actually. I could try and ease myself into it with something like that one. And then I have a Back to the Future colouring book because obviously I am a Back to the Future fan, being a child from born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s. And these are actually quite good representations of the scenes, you, you know. You know, I mean, it doesn't look a hundred percent like them, but it's not that far off. And you've got some quotes as well, which is nice. Like, oh, I guess they call you Cal huh? when she sees his pants with Calvin Klein on them. Um, but yeah, so it's it's quite good actually. But the paper's really thin. So to see that one, I like that one. <laughs> so I might have to do something in that soon. A lot of the time you forget what you've got because you've got so many. Like I said, these are the ones that I haven't coloured in yet. And I've got hundreds that I have. Uh, so this is I Love Puggy Corns and another amazing mashups. I think this was from the works and it was cheap and it was in the kids section. But I thought, no, no, I'm having this. I mean, look how cute that is. Look at it. It's my, I, I needed this book in my life. It's so cute! I am going to colour in all these books one day. I've got Fairyland colouring book from adults. This is such and such, Diva, but this is actually not a colour by number one. This is just a normal colouring book. So, very thin paper, but that's okay. I, I'm so cute. I know. I'm pretty sure there is a colour by number version if you would prefer it. I'm actually glad I got the non colour by number version on this because I think this one would be quite fun to just really go to town with. I got given this one for Christmas last year when I was actually actually had a job and it's uh, the Good Omens colour by number book. Now I like it but the guy who designed it did not actually give you a colour palette so you've kind of got to guess what the colours are. I've been all the way through it and I've read the reviews and there is no colour palette so you kind of have to guess. Now on here yes you can see some of the colours like um, a number two and number three, four, five and that but are they going to be all the same for all of them? You just don't know and so you've got to guess. So that one I may never colour in unless I can figure out a colour palette for it. But, yeah. Then we have another Selena for neck one, and this is Mermaid Magic. I love her mermaids. Why haven't I coloured in it? I don't know. I do like using pencils in Selena for next books, though. I really do. And they're stunning. So why haven't I coloured in it? What is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then I have uh, Kalia Mandala's Night, which I like because they got all black backgrounds. I'm definitely going to have to start hitting on this one because it's stunning. And I like the fact it's spiral bound, a spiral band at the top. Being left handed, it's always awkward if it's spiral bound on the left because it's uncomfortable. At the top, it's not a problem. The next one I have is <laughs> Animal Reading Books, Funny Carry Book, Demeter Victoria. I thought it was going to be better than it is, but it's all right. I mean, they are quite cute. But I thought it was going to be all really funny ones, like the llama on the front or the alpaca, whatever it is on the front, like that one is quite cute. That cat's quite good, though. But yeah, that's that. Right, I'm going to get another stack because that's the end of that stack. And this is the last stack in part one. Okay, here we go. This is the final stack of book from part one. <laughs> part one of my complete book collection. Oh, my collection of books I haven't coloured in yet. So we have my fantasy journey. This again is one of the ones that came from Liddles, Crelando, and it's just very zen doodly. It's a gel pen kind of book, I think. That's, I like that. That's quite nice. Oh, well, they're pretty good too. So that's that one. Then I have 
uh, The Wizard of Oz by Fabiana Atanasio. Remember I said about the fairy tale books? This is the one. Again, I have not coloured in it yet. I'm, I think I'm afraid to because I love The Wizard of Oz so much I don't want to ruin the book. And I also have, uh, the only other one I have is this Snow White one. Um, again, I haven't coloured in it. I, I know I will. I know I will. A couple more Selena for next. Now we've got uh, Ponds and Flowers, which was an unusual one for her. It's not featuring things like ladies. So I like that one. Again, it's a, something a bit different. And I will colour it at some point, I hope. But the other one is Fairy Magic colouring book. And this, I do like this one. And again, I don't know why I haven't coloured in them. So two sets of pages, so I can put one set away for Jennifer when she's older. Although she's getting to the point where she's getting better at colouring, so she could probably colour in the ones with the big faces. That's nice. So that one. Then I've got um, August Rivery. I'm not going to try and pronounce the, lead, the person's name. Uh, beautiful. But again, I haven't, that's nice. Again, I just haven't coloured in them. And then I have August Rivery 2 Epic. Which is, again, absolutely, look at that. Absolutely stunning book. I have a 1950s colouring book. So this was to be fashion. Living Art Vintage, it's grayscale. And yeah, it's alright, but it's not brilliant. It's a little bit very simple that one, but I quite like that. It, it could have been a lot better. Maybe this is like one of the very first AI type books. I don't know. I, I was expecting more from it, but it's okay. It's still going to be one that I colour in a little bit every now and again. Then we've got uh, Retro Woman by Rachel Mintz. Again, this is vintage fashion. Do you think I like vintage stuff? Now this one I love. I think this is great. Look at that. That's amazing. That's very, oh, it's just stunning, some of these. They're not too difficult. I like that one. This one I should colour in soon because I could do this one. I love that 1920s and Art Deco and very Audrey Hepburn there. And Oh, I like these. Look at that. So Clara. Yeah. Once I get started in this one. I'm not going to want to stop, I think. So that's that one. Then I've got Colour Art, the Garden Collection. So these are magazines that come out periodically in the UK. Paper, it's okay actually in this one. I did have one of these um, supermarket book art books that had the same paper. I think it was the next one, similar to the next one, uh, as the cover. And it's shiny and hard to colour, so I don't know about that one. And uh, uh, next I have another one of the ones from the supermarket magazine shelf. Zen Colouring Tranquil Collection. See, I like those sorts. Get the gel pens out and have a go. A nice mandala. And that's nice, actually. Then Jennifer has this book. And Jennifer has actually coloured loads in this one. And it's the Squishmallow Colouring Book. And we're always posting her pictures on... Um, Instagram. I don't know why I haven't actually coloured any of them yet because they are adorable. They won't take. They don't take long. Jennifer can colour three of these in one go compared to you know, but in the time I take to do one picture in another book because they are quite simple. Um, a few Jade Summers. Now I did have a stack of Jade Summers about twenty odd that I hadn't coloured, and it's now down to these few. Some of the which are brand new. So I have got the Steampunk Animals colouring book. Uh, you know, Animals isn't, well, they're not my favourite, but there is uh, a few in here that I do want to do. Then there's um, the Art Nouveau colouring book. This one intimidates the hell out of me. I should have waited and got the grayscale version, I think. But it's very detailed. But I do like it. It's beautiful. So I will look through and try and pick one from there. And then I've got Majestic Animals. This I'm thinking, why on earth did I buy this? I hate colouring animals. Although that's quite nice. And that one too. A unicorn. 
I, I would do the unicorn actually. I love unicorns. Not a real animal though. And then the Greek mythology one. So again, there's two in each of this. So uh, when I finish doing mine, these aren't too bad actually. I will let Jennifer have them to uh, colour in the, the next lot. The newer ones we've put out, I haven't coloured in there's the Mandala's adult colouring book and I'm like, I don't know why I haven't coloured in this because I love Mandala's. I love getting a couple of gel pens or a marker and just going for it and I don't know why I haven't. So I might have to try soon. Then we've got Fairy Homes. Again, this is so sweet, this book. I love it. Lots of different types of fairy houses. Oh, that's a nice one. And again, I haven't colours in it. I could use lots of gel pens on here, markers, you name it. It's a stunning book. I'm glad I've got it. Um, Tiny Animals is next. I'm keeping this one out because this is the one that myself and Jennifer will be colouring in when we do our um, colouring video because she likes this one. And they're, they're quite simple. They're not really completely simple, but something like that me and Jennifer could do in a video for you guys. So if you really want to see a colouring with Jen one, let me know and we will pick a page from this book and sit and do it together with gel pens and, and markers. And then I have this one called Magic Ocean. Again, this came from Lidl's. There was, I think they did four of them and I've got them all and this is the only one I haven't actually coloured in. The paper's all right, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. But I don't know why I haven't coloured in it. And the thing with this is, is you can stand it up. I don't, I don't know why you would, because let's be honest, who's going to colour up like that? But you could flip it like an art book when you've finished. So, Another mandala book. This one is called The Healing Mandala Pocket Book. And this is for if I, I, I really did buy this for if I actually go anywhere. It has writing next to it as well. I'm not sure about that, but I'll do the pictures. Um, like, sometimes when my brother's home, I take him to Bristol to see his... Um, pensions advisor and I usually take a colouring book and some pens with me and go and sit in Starbucks for a little bit. Then I've got a million cute animals. The amount of time I've pulled this out and looked through it and haven't found anything I wanted to colour is ridiculous because I know there's going to be loads in here. Like for instance, look at that cat. Why haven't you coloured that cat hand? And uh, look. And it's, it's just me being ridiculous or not feeling it at the time. <laughs> that looks like a finger mouse! And it was like finger mouse. I love it. If you're not from the UK and old like me, go and just Google finger mouse. And the last uh, Lulu Mayo I have is uh, a million owls. I do pick them up when I can. And this is so cute as well. And again, why haven't you coloured in it? They are so easy to do and they don't take that long. Oh, those beautiful big eyes. Oh. And finally, the very last book on this stack and the very last book from episode one of this huge collection of uncoloured books is Space by Hannah Carlson. Now, I know these are her children's book, but I love them. That doesn't mean to say I won't get a set. I get one for Jennifer one day. But she's got so many colouring books, but she actually colours really a lot. So that rainbow, I'm going to colour that, I think. I have to colour that. So there you go, that is part one of all the books I've not yet coloured in that are in my collection. If you want to see me colour in any of the books I've mentioned in part one of the video, leave me a comment down below and I will make a note of it in my notebook and um, pull that book out and do a colouring video with you in it. If there's a particular supply that you know I've got that you want to see me colour with in one of these books, let me know. It could be the Deco Time pencils, there's one here because I've been using it, or the... Um, our teaser markers or the brute fooners or the black widows or prisoners or pollies whatever let me know and i'll see you in part two